today I am at Signature Custom Wraps in South Florida. We're going to visit with Mike, or Mojo as his friends know him, and Jennifer. It's a family owned business and as you can see they specialize in Tesla. This is their Model S. This right here is their Model X. And the rebel in the family is the Model 3 Performance, which they've really made a custom car out of. We have a bunch of questions for them. I can't wait for you guys to meet them. Let's go inside. Oh my goodness, look at all the amazing colors and a few of my favorite things, like Elon's Musk, made with real musk. Oh, wow. We sit here for hours with clients, hours, and just go over everything that we can do. It's so much fun. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube that talk about buying your wrap, uh, wrapping paper on uh, Amazon. What's your opinion on that? Um, Doing it yourself. I don't know how to do taxes. So I went to school and learned how to do taxes. So to me, it's kind of the same thing. It comes down to the right tools, the right conditions, mm -hmm. prepping, knowing how to prep things, buying anything off of Amazon, stuff like that. Not a good suggestion. Um, there are a couple handful of manufacturers and distribu uh, distribution mm -hmm. people, um, Valor's Metro Island uh, things like that. Um, those are the guys that the vinyl sits in a climate controlled warehouse. Um, things are because regulated. If it what happens, you don't want it to dry out, mm -hmm. the adhesive will be bad, stuff like that. Um, everything has a shelf life on it. Um, every roll has a core number and a date, a manufacturing date. Mm -hmm. um, so you're trying to keep track of all that stuff. Fellers will help you out. Anyone at Metro Restyling will help you out. Is it possible to do? Absolutely. Are you going to get the same outcome as someone that's been doing it for five, six, seven, eight years? Probably not. Probably not. Okay. I think the other sure. big issue too is if you're going to DIY it yourself, go to a reputable manufacturer, go to Expel, talk to their distributors, buy it directly from them and not things off Amazon. Because there are people that they sell product where the adhesive could potentially damage your car after five years. You oh don't you don't know what you're getting. Yeah. So I definitely would never recommend just buying. You're spending a lot of money on your car. Yeah. So and a lot of time. Yeah. A lot of money and a lot of time. So you might as well get the right stuff. Yeah. You know, and just get it right from the beginning. You know? I think the other thing too is people always ask what's better, paint protection film or ceramic coating. Yeah. And it's one of those things where I push my clients to do paint protection film in the front first because you can come back and coat later. We can polish it out and then coat, but we can't polish out rock chips. So ceramic coating is amazing, doesn't protect against those high impact projectiles. Um, so we always push people to PPF so the front of your car. It's PPF the front of your car. car. Okay. Yeah. Even if that's the only thing you ever do, do that. You know. Have you ever had anybody come in with a wrap that they tried to do themselves and you had to correct it? Um, yeah, we've yeah. also helped people that have started that couldn't finish yeah. okay. because so they've been stuck. Yeah. You know, Imagine. until you give them the price. <laughs> but it's not, I mean, every, we all started in that, we all started that way. So okay. um, we're, as being a family owned business, I've always been that whole thing about, you know, helping everybody out. It'll come back on you. Mm -hmm. We did a video, I did a, a FaceTime video with a guy in Australia to wrap his back hatch on a Model S. Really? He yeah. put it up, his wife was oh, holding it, and then Braden yeah. was holding the camera, and I literally wrapped a rear hatch while he wrapped it at the exact same time. That's so, so awesome. But it's just those little things that just... Yeah, we taught someone how to crumb bleed out in California who's yeah. not doing it for a living. So, so like just little yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's really nice. That's their way but that's the part that's, you know, that's the beauty of having a small shop and taking care of people and doing things. And that's what you can take about. the time to yeah. do those things that, yes. that yeah. are we important to you. We try. We try. I think the cool thing too is like we, when the Model 3 first came out and people didn't like the center console, so it gets fingerprints and it scratches yes. really easy. Yeah. They were asking us to wrap them. So yeah. we were charging people to wrap it and they were on their way. I bought one, realized just how bad the center console was, and immediately, I'm sorry, I'm wrapping everyone's Model 3 center console for free because there's no reason it should be that bad. So we are Someone walks in here, we wrap that for Good free. way to get people in the shop. Yeah. yeah. And it always cracks me up when clients come in and they're like, so you're going to PPF my car? I'm like, yeah, do you have any questions? Because I also have one. You do, uh -huh. and then that's all a, of a sudden it was like they immediately trust you yeah. because we know. And we that's know. another thing is, is, is having all three of them. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, the S was a big yeah. thing because now you became a Tesla owner. Yeah. Um, and now you have the three. Mm -hmm. 
And so now the three people relate to her, and I have yeah. like the older kind of crowd that relates it's your to friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah mine's right actually right out front. We'll okay. show you. It's yeah, the orange one. Oh, nice. So, yeah. Um, that's a nice. That's it's another. One that's thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Very so good. that's another. That's a really good. Mm -hmm. People are like, oh, so you own these? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We're owners. Yeah. We, we, we have kids in them. We have white seats. We have black seats. Yeah. We know exactly how it's gonna go. Yeah. So we have everything. Some are wrapped. Some are DPF. Some are coated. Yeah. So we have a little bit of everything. So. If people want to see them, it helps something. If it's not in the shop, it's on yeah. the card. People have asked me, uh, is there like a top of the line quality wrap? And is there a lower end? So every shop, every install is, yeah. installer is different. But it comes down to installation. Five, six years ago, I think vinyl was different. Now the technology with adhesive and, and, and different things, they're all across the board very similar. Okay. Uh, comes down to colors. I think we found okay. the brands that we prefer the most. Yeah, I mean, there's um, other brands out there. Yeah. But this is what we work with. We're comfortable with it. Yeah. Okay. Um, we have an we AC climate controlled shop for a reason. Um, we live in South Florida. Humidity, heat, all that stuff. Um, that makes a big difference in installation. Clean shop, we mop, sweep, do whatever. Um, all makes a big difference. Now, there are some vinyls that work up north better than they work down south. Oh, yeah. So if you take an Avery matte metallic, this will last longer up north than it will down here down south. Really? Because of the sun and the heat. Oh, wow. Compared to the beating of it, compared to up north where there's not as much humidity, um, the sun isn't as intense. Mm -hmm. um, you may not get the longevity down here as if you did up north. That's so when you go to this kind of a color, a matte metallic, I'll usually recommend a satin. This will take more of a, a, the blunt from the sun and everything. Easier yeah, to coat. Um, that would make a difference. Yeah, it's it's less porous, so it's smoother. Yeah. Compared to a satin a metallic. Yeah. Um, the metals in here just are reflecting more okay. inside of the map. Um, okay. It being dull absorbs more light. Okay. So, just knowing that, um, pushing people now. Some people just don't want to listen, and we'll just go with it. So, again, own, again, yeah. longevity comes down to how you take care of it, how you take care of your lab. Okay. What you do with it, what you don't with it, how you wash it, the chemicals you use with it, the soaps that you use with it, a lot of things. It's no different, and I say it all the time when people laugh, it's no different than a female washing her hair mm -hmm. with a lower brand yeah. hair um, shampoo and conditioner to a nice shampoo. But you got to know what conditioner works for you. Yeah. So it comes down to a soap that works for a painted car, mm -hmm. a PPI car, or a wrap oh, car. Oh, wow, okay. So you try to I'm find peak. <laughs> So it just yeah, comes down to those kind of things, you know. Um, so if you have a car that already has damage on it, yeah. bumps, chips, not bumps, but if it has chips, uh, can you wrap it, it or it should you get it repaired? So first? it depends on, on what it is. If it's just bad, improper washing, so you have swirl marks and light minor scratches, that all can get polished out. Okay. But if it's nothing that's surface visible, meaning because this is it's very thin material. So if I put it over the edge of this, you'll see the edge. Yeah, you do. Okay. So if there's a rock chip or anything like that, you'll see the rock chip. Okay. Depending on what color you put on also. Okay. So some colors hide sure. things. Um, so you can guide somebody to tell look if Yes, and that's what we do. Yeah. And we do a lot of that. Yeah. We have a client that gets his car wrapped every year so that he won't buy a new car. Yeah. Every like, year? Yeah, and we have, a, we have a wife that gets it done every two years because yeah. it's like getting a new lease. Yeah. <laughs> so they take it off and rewrap it and she's yeah. got a new car, but it's the exact same car they've had that's for awesome. years. And we have older people, so this yeah. is a 2013. Okay. So we put a brand new unplugged performance bumper on it, on the front of it, nice. painted it, and did some more stuff to it, and polished it, and he's that's back sick. new again. You know, yeah. It looks like a newer Model X. Yeah. I started talking to your wife earlier, and I wanted to get your side of the story as to why you got into wrapping tests. Oh, good story. So uh, <laughs> I used to be an art director for a national magazine for five years. But I grew up in the car business back home in Syracuse, New York, Phoenix, New York. So I was always around cars. So when I was down here, I got into graphic design work, uh, national magazine out of Texas, but at a location here in Florida. And um, my best friend, Brad Bargman, showed up with his Mercedes Benz that was wrapped in matte black. And I was like, wow, this is really cool. What is it? It's a wrap. Didn't know anything about it. Okay. So uh, I kind of did some research on it. And uh, I'm like, custom cars, custom wraps, a lot of disposable income down here in South Florida. <laughs> and uh, 
So I looked into it and um, one of our friends worked at and ran a very large rap company. Okay. And they were looking for a graphic designer. So uh, I ended up taking a job at the rap company. And after two years, things weren't as promised as they were. So I decided to go on my own. I got a shop up in Delray with one of my another very good friends, Jordan Huffer at motorgroup.com. We outgrew the space within eight months. Wow. Got another shop and my best friend Brad Bargman got one of the first Teslas in South Florida area and uh, he said let's wrap it. Just out of curiosity, what color? We did it in matte metallic Tesla. blue. Actually, I still, I still keep it. Oh yeah? Uh, third one on the top down, okay. it's still his role. Okay. So I still keep it. Matte metallic blue and we hooked up with Boston Wheels. But we said that we did that. They did a whole photo shoot mm -hmm. and it went viral. We did it at a... Uh, a, at a gas station. Okay. So it was the 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 funniness of pulling into a gas station, open up the trunk, and getting high performance gas <laughs> for like your race car, and driving out with an electric car. Oh my god! Um, it went viral. Cool. It was on Comedy Central. Really? Um, on the Cobain Report. Oh my and, god! And uh, he had talked about the new hippies and electric cars, and there was Brad's car with Boston wheels on it. And one client from Kentucky had Boston wheels, bought a Tesla, saw it on their website, yeah. and things just kind of kind of rolled from there. Got in with Dania Beach here, mm -hmm. uh, the service center, mm -hmm. and uh, back in the day, that's all we did was tint and detail all their cars. Okay. And just built a uh, an amazing family relationship, okay. and uh, it kind of has been history since. And it's funny because my birthday is Saturday, and he's bringing his car, and he sat me down. The when Saturday I, coming? Yeah. Oh. So he sat me down when I started doing all the Teslas. He said, "Whatever you do, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Okay. Make sure you do other cars." Okay. I said, "No, I think I'm really going to concentrate on Tesla." And it's all about making relationships. So right now, our birthday party is from 6 to 9 on Friday, Saturday. August 3rd, or Saturday. sorry, Saturday, <laughs> August 3rd, and we're at like 105 cars, oh and I would say 90% of them are Teslas and our clients. Oh, that's amazing. So um, it'll be fun to see a client pick up their car after they haven't seen it for a couple months, and it's been repainted in new interior, new wheels, and just the, the look on their face is like, that pretty much puts everything in perspective. It's kind of the same thing. Like this car right here, he's dropping a lot of money. So we're doing wheel suspension, wrap, chrome delete, window tint, interior. We did the all Model 3s come with gray headliners. We did black Alcatara. Everything's going to be black on black. Calipers are going to be done. But for him to see his stock car and then in a week and a half bring him his complete, a complete different car and to see their look on their face, that's what it's about, you know. The money's nice, but that satisfaction right there, and then he's that's dropping off his. Going. That's what keeps us going. Everyone knows us. I don't feel like we're a big company, but we get people's phone calls from Australia, Germany, all over the United States to help out and or send their cars over or ship things to them. And I'm still, to me, I say it all the time that we're just this guy that wraps a couple of Teslas in a shop in Fort Lauderdale. I'd love to give a great big thank you to Mike and Jennifer for being so generous with their time and their knowledge. They have the experience, the know-how, they are passionate about what they do, and they are Tesla people. So if you need anything done in your car and you happen to be in South Florida, it is worthwhile to go and see them.